Hey guys, welcome back to the Modern Religion 4 tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to turn it from daytime into nighttime in your game. So by default, the sky would look like this, and we're going to change it into a nighttime scene. So this is a very quick and easy tutorial on how to do it, and in the future I might do a day-night cycle video. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see in the future. So like I said, it's very quick and easy. So what we're going to do to start with is just select the sky sphere up here. So you can just press anywhere on the sky and we'll select the sky sphere blueprint up here. And then we want to find the sun height, which is down here on the override settings. So we get the sun height and we're going to put this directly underneath the world. And that value is going to be minus one. And you'll notice that we type it in, press enter, nothing happens. So what we're going to do to solve that is just get rid of the directional light actor here. So do that, we'll just click this little yellow arrow there to set to reset to default. You can see that is now none which is what we want. So now again, change the sun height down here to minus one, like so. You can see it already looks a lot better. So this is kind of now a nighttime scene. So this already looks a lot better. Now you'll notice it's still incredibly bright to be a nighttime scene. And we'll fix that in the post process. But one step before we do that is we can change the amount of stars here. We can change the sun brightness, but obviously we don't need to do that. We can change the cloud speed. So you can see they're moving a lot faster, the cloud opacity, how much you want. So. You can have them like this. And then obviously the star brightness. Now I think a good value is about 2 or 1.7. So that's a little bright. So I'll go for 1.5. So I think that looks good. So you get all these nice stars here as well. Looking great. And again, the brightness, we're going to change in the post-processing volume. So we just find that here, post-process volume. And what we're going to do is search for brightness here. We've got the minimum and maximum brightness. You can change the minimum to 4.7, maximum to 5. And you can see that is already a lot darker. So you can change these values however you like to uh, get them perfect for you. So you can make it brighter, you can make it darker, anything like that. But these are good values, which I found on the Emerald Docks and just from messing about with it. So that's pretty much it. That is the basic method of turning a day scene into a night scene like so. You can go around with it and you can see this looks really cool. So we have the night scene with all the stars. We change the cloud speed, cloud opacity, all that good stuff and it's night and it's a lot darker. So obviously if you were playing a horror game, you had a flashlight, this would look really good. So I think that'll be it for this video. Like I said, we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can modify the sky to make it brighter, we can make it darker, we can change where the sun is, we can change the cloud speed, cloud opacity, all this good stuff, and also the star brightness. So if we wanted, we could have really bright stars. Obviously you wouldn't want it that bright. So like I say, this is just how I want it. And I think this looks quite good. And obviously you can change all these different settings as well, but for this it doesn't matter too much. You just mess about with all these settings however you like to get it perfect for you. But like I say, this is the request I was asked to do, and this is how to do it. So again, at some point in the future I might make a day-night cycle tutorial, but for now we've just got this. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.